Ever since I was a kid, I've dreamt about what it would be like if Ramayana was a game. Growing up, I was always fascinated by the epic of Ramayana, by its larger-than-life characters, epic battles, timeless lessons, and at the same time, I was falling in love with games. How they could let you step into another world, make choices, and live stories uh, through them instead of just hearing. And the Ramayana always felt it had all the ingredients of a great game. Heroes, villains, quests, allies, journeys across strange lands, moments of loss. Everything that makes a game memorable was already there in this epic. And because of that deep connection I've always had, I knew one day I wanted to bring it to life in the medium I love the most, that is video games and yeah so here we are and where do we begin and how do we move forward in this first develop I'll be implementing the base character as the foundation for the starting point of our epic adventure together and thereafter every video we will be adding something new together it can be anything probably the environment probably some battle some game mechanics you guys let me know in the comments what it should be and also keep in mind we will be going with a stylized way of approach because that seems something which is achievable for a small individual person like me rather than a massive AAA production title yeah, we do not have the numbers, but we do have passion, creativity and drive to tell a story in a way that captures the spirit of Ramayana. So, let's start. So, for this version, I'll be using this iconic Ram character from the series which we all love and know. So, I just took this image of him and fed it into ChatGPT and generated a depose model from there on so that I can do the modeling for him. So from there on after, I put this into another AI software to generate a 3D model for it. Uh, looked very good for me for a very good stylized model, perfect for a stylized game. It also generated this uh, nice stylized outline textures for me. Um, so I was pretty happy for this. So now let's prepare this for Unreal Engine 5. So since this character uh, AI model generator is usually used for printing, the scale was too small. Uh, we had to adjust the character to its regular scale and just like a six foot character or so. And then after some cleanup, the character was ready inside Mixamo engine. And yeah, now let's import him into Unreal Engine. So this is how my character ended up looking inside of Unreal Engine. I was pretty much satisfied with the result, but we needed some motion, more, more motion rather than Mixamo animations. So I ended up retargeting all the animations from the game animation sample, the GASP project and made a nice motion matching uh, piece. You can see these are all the walk animations for Lord Ram and these are all the run animations for the Lord. And yeah, now let's make a character and make him walk inside of the game. So after creating the character's animation blueprint, uh, we brought him inside our default third person character. I created a new uh, camera function for him with some nice camera delay and uh, camera lag with better looking angles. Added some uh, base locomotion stuff and this is how it turned out. So I was pretty happy with the result. It has eight directional walk. Um, and uh, pretty nice camera lag, uh, pretty nice locomotion system. Uh, quite happy with how the result turned out. So we have a few different landing types as well. Uh, like we 
jump from a height, he'll do a different landing and stuff like that. And I also added like a dodge functionality for him. So if you can see, you can just dodge. Um, and yeah, actually I do not want to add much and want to keep this as the foundation for you guys to decide now what we should do next. So that's the very first step of this journey. We now have our base character in the game, but the world around him is still empty and that's where I'd love your help. How do you imagine the environment of a Ramayana inspired game to be? Should we create forests? Should we create grand temples or directly move to a battlefield? Please share your thoughts in the comments and I'll use your ideas to shape the world in the next video. Also, I've set myself a goal, reaching 5,000 subscribers in this channel was something I never imagined would happen, but looks like a not so distant dream now. So every single subscriber, every single milestone will make this journey more memorable. So please subscribe and I can't wait where this journey will lead us to. Thanks.